And welcome back. This is Wallace Good with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I am joined as always by Abel Novin Blue and Sackman, my faithful squad. When we last left off, we killed Leviathan. Trolly Trolly Leviathan. Now we have one more optional dungeon to go through, and that is up here on the floating continent next to uh, where Tozis is. If you remember that, uh, we need to land right here. We'll get out of the invincible, I should say. Because we have another dungeon to crawl through, I wonder what we will find here. Fuck. Bahamut. It's Bahamut Lair, you guys! This is not going to be good. But we do find a heavenly wrath here. Earthen drums. It, it's time to take revenge for the one time that I ran like a little girl. It's time to destroy Bahamut. Got a phoenix down and an arctic wind. Then we can head down here and probably fight new enemies. Yes, we do. What are these? They are pterodactyls. They are drakes. Okay. So they're kind of dragon-ish. Dragon-ish. Um, arrow and arrow go would be great on these guys, but I'm trying to save. You know what? What level is arrow? Let's use that. Let's just let's just get some good damage in with bloom. I mean, these guys are weak to arrow after all. Decent damage, not not bad. You know, it doesn't kill them though. It doesn't kill them. Wind slash is definitely more powerful of a wind attack right now. But you know, everything else should be a one hitter after that. No, seriously, Abel. Sackman knows what's going on. He's still, of course, got the uh, got the spears, which are very effective against flying enemies for whatever reason. We'll just use fire, why not? Whoever goes first is going to kick this guy, finish him off, and then we can move on. Down goes the last Drake. And for that battle, we get 4,950 gil, 5,700 experience, and that's it. But that's good. That's good. And if we head down here, we can head to the second level of Bahamut's Lair. Which, honestly, is probably not going to be as scary as I make it out to be. We do have new enemies here, though. And these are Sabertooth Ligers. Okay. Um, knowing what little I know, they should be magical. And they are Napoleon Dynamite's favorite animal. I don't know if he likes the saber-toothed ones in particular, but he does love the laggers. Kaven, why couldn't you do Earthquake? It would kill everybody. That is surely enough to kill him. Spears aren't going to be doing as much because these guys are on the ground, but it's still enough for the victory. Go! Uh, Kiku and Chimanjis. <laughs> it took me a while, but I remembered their name. Damn it, they were weird. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yes! Uh, since you can actually defeat Bahamut um, when we first fought him and I ran like a little girl, uh, I, I don't have high hopes that he's going to be all that tough in this fight. Nothing like the Odin fight, nothing like the Leviathan fight as far as I know. 5400 gale, 5700 experience. A job level up for Novin and a level for Sackman. Awesome. Where were we? We were here. Okay. We need to keep going, yeah, because you can beat him the first time. I'm not expecting that tough of a fight. Uh, Golem Staff there. I mean, it's not like this dungeon looks like it is very tough. Is this going to be new enemies? It is. What are these? These are upgraded Oroboruses. These are Greater Boruses. Sure. <laughs> Your names confuse me. Let's use fire and attack them. Go, Fire Rod! Been doing about a thousand damage. Yeah, a thousand damage. Which is good. Not enough for the victory anymore. It used to be. Uh, but, you know, we're still. Still doing damage with a white mage, which is awesome because you don't always expect that in your Final Fantasy games. Sometimes the white mage is this just there to look pretty. And. St and cure stone. Ah, oh, what the hell? I didn't know these guys stoned. Since when do they stone? That is not cool at all. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able 
to revive Abel before, before that greater Boros dies. So he doesn't get any experience for this fight, but we do get 5100, Gil 7600 experience, a level up for Bloon, and that's it. Hold on while I get Abel back. Yeah, the dungeon is not all that tough as long as you don't get stoned. I don't think there's any more enemies here, so I'll probably be cutting battles out from now on. Let's keep going through the dungeon since there doesn't seem to be any secret passages or anything. Pick up a white musk and a box of cider, which is awesome. Oh, more treasure. When they start putting stuff right in your way, I tend to get a little nervous thinking that they're going to throw something else at me. But so far they've been pretty nice, pretty nice. Get a turtle shell out of that that uh, treasure chest and head down to the next level where, once again, they put stuff right in my way. Get a Yoritos bow. Is that better than the Yoichi bow? I don't, I don't know. Let's see here. Where's my Yoichi bow? I don't think I ever arranged that. Just in case you guys do have a bow user. There's my Yuichi bow, attack level of 70. Whereas this new Yoritos bow has an attack level of 95, so definitely an upgrade. The Yoichi bow is dead to me. I'll never use that thing. Get a Phoenix down out of that chest. An Elixir out of that chest. Greatly appreciate. And a Kotetsu, which is useless because I got two Kiku and Jimanjis. And we're just going to keep going up here. Are you strong enough to defeat me? I think I am, even though I forgot to heal. Ah, oh, because I thought you'd give me a bit of a chance to heal. But no, we go straight into a fight with Bahamut. Do I need to heal? I don't really need to heal. Let's go for an attack. Go for terrain. You, <laughs> you use Aroga. You jump. Let's see how this works out. Jump! And off screen he goes. Let's go. Let's go, Aroga. Look at this. Ready? 3,600 damage. Ice Storm. For 2821. Yeah, not as good as Aroga. He does hit pretty hard. But once again, not too concerned about it since being uh, weak to uh, to wind is pretty much putting you right right in my comfort zone. In fact, so much so, I'm going for Aroga again. I'm not even going to heal. Oh yeah, now you want to use a wind attack, Nova? Fine. Use the air attack. Yeah, go ahead. Hit, hit people with your normal attack and do nothing else. Let's see how that works out for you, Bahamut. Down you go! Sackman from the sky! Oh, don't you hate it when Sackman's come out of the sky? Don't you, Bahamut? Just rape you. You get 1,600... Uh, sorry, 16,500 gil, 5,000 experience, a job level up for Abel, job level up for Novin, job level up for Bloon, and a job level up for Sackman. Did he drop anything? No, and you can only steal high potions from him, so why bother stealing? But for that... We get Bahamar. Apparently, the summoning spell Bahamar. Why they couldn't just put Bahamut is beyond me, but they didn't. So I will meet you back at the airship. Be right back. So I made it back to the airship, and uh, I I'm going to show this because it's kind of difficult sometimes. Okay, so we need to leave the floating continent, and we need to go back to Doga's. Uh, manner, if you remember that. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to get our Nautilus back, which is way the hell up there. And then we can, uh, you know, continue the plot. You know, the plot? Yeah, the game has one. And uh, I swore there were like random battles. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Possibly getting ahead of myself. Where is my damn Nautilus? There it is. We need that baby right there. So that's how you get back to the Nautilus. It's not that difficult, but it's very, very important because if you don't do it, you can't go on in the plot. So we get the Nautilus back, and yes, it moves so much faster. So much faster. 
we need to go not that way that way would be bad caught, caught me looking at the, the upper map forgot to look down and see where I was going right now we need to make it back to Doga's Manor I believe and in order to do that is it here? Oh man, it's been what? A couple weeks since we went to Doga's Man? No, it is not here. That would be the wrong place. We need to go. Ah, yes, just through here. Uh, it's not underneath anything. It is just this way. Uh, yeah, you, otherwise, if you if you don't have the knowledge, then you're not fast enough. So you need to go through here. Let's go into Doga's Manor, and within a few steps, we are bombarded by a cutscene. Come, it is time for Unai and I to give you what we have prepared. Where are you guys? We can't see you. Step on the circle and make your way through the tunnels. We shall await at the end. Uh, what do you think I should do, you guys? I I I'm scared. I'm scared it's a purple circle. Hold on. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to step on the purple circle next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. And I looked it up. Job level 70. Holy crap, is that high. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.